So anyway, um, this taming series, I think it's going to consist about three or four parts, and it's going to be little snippets of each day that I am taming Toby, which is every day, um, and I'll just take little snippets. Um, so this is just the introduction, but I believe um, for the first taming video, I will most likely be showing you what to do when you first bring your hammy home, how to get them used to your house, um, and maybe even I will start treat feeding, um, and the different levels of hamsters accepting treats from you, um, because there are different ways that they'll accept their treats, um, and what they mean, um, that correlate to the teaming process. Um, so then I believe for the second taming video, um, I'll show you guys how to um, start getting the hamster used to you, how to start taking them out um, for floor time, for ball time, um, and also how to begin stroking them and getting them used to your scent. And then I believe for the third taming video of this series, I will do how to hold your hamster and really just tame them, um, and also what it means to have a tame hamster. Um, if you guys can see Toby in there, sorry, it's a, um, he's sleeping right now. Um, and then I think for the fourth um, video of this series, I'll have a conclusion um, of how Team Toby is, how it, long it took, um, and things like that. Um, now there are a few advantages I have with Toby is that he did have he does have an owner um, that I am just babysitting for. Um, so he is pretty much already tame, um, as in he will already accept treats and eat them in front of me and not just hoard or run away with them. Um, he already is getting used to my scent, um, he associates me with good things, and he has not yet bitten, um, so that's always a plus. Um, I hope to never get him to the position where he needs to bite, um, I will go over that in the taming videos, um, but really, hamsters won't bite unless they're technically provoked, um, you might not mean to provoke them, but you may. Um, so I will also be telling you, um, hamster body language and how to realize when they have had enough and when to stop. Um, because you want to push them to make sure that, um, they do get used to you and not just let them be basically feral little hamsters. But, um, you also want to not push, need to know when not to push them, um, in case they do bite. So you don't really want them to bite, um it starts forming a really bad cycle where they'll just bite you more and more frequently and harder um, to get you to stop um, playing with them because they might not like it at first. Um, but Toby's already pretty much half tame. He'll accept treats from me. I can stroke him. Um, honestly, I just kind of got to get used to holding him. But I will go through all the steps anyway um, and show you all of that. Uh, so, yeah, I hope you enjoy this taming series. Um, if you have any requests for me to show certain things in this taming series, or if you have any questions for your hamster that you um, might ask, um, peel, please feel free to comment down below or message me on Facebook. Um, our Facebook is Maddie um, Space and Mara. Um, by no means am I a taming expert with hamsters. I find that taming hamster methods are very similar to those of guinea pigs and gerbils. Um, gerbils are definitely probably the most easy animal I've ever tamed, ever. They pretty much tame within a few days, in my opinion, um, and with my circumstances. Uh, gerbils are just very curious and very friendly, and they pretty much never bite. Uh, the pigs actually took longest because, uh, they were very, very shy, and you have to coax them quite a bit. Um, my only issue with Toby is that he has a very odd sleeping schedule, and I still have to figure out what it is. But, um, that's that. Um, by no means, again, I am not an expert. I, this is my first hamster I've ever tamed. I have basically based this off of everything I've read online, um, from YouTube videos, and I've read quite a bit, so I'm going to continue to research for this taming video series, and for Toby, um, and yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this taming series. Um, like, comment, subscribe, whatever you want to do down below. Thank you guys for watching, and look, I hope you guys are looking forward to this series.